hey y'all welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make this super simple halloween wreath it is so easy to put together and the good thing is it looks beautiful and full without having to add in a bunch of ribbon or other decorations so anyway stay tuned and i'll show you how to make it Alrighty, y'all let us get started look at the halloween nails y'all know i love halloween and the longer and the pointier halloween nails i can find the happier i am but anyway um these came from walmart a lot of people ask me where i got them they came from walmart you can probably find them at cvs you know wherever you know they sell artificial nails anyway um for this wreath it's really simple all you're going to need is your frame your mesh and whatever sign you want to put on here and this is why i really like the pull through method now you see me do this with burlap you can also do it with deco mesh um, which is what we're using today this is 10 inch mesh and there's a uh, 10 feet on the roll now this particular mesh i thought would be really good for this technique because it's half orange and black half purple and black now if you can't find this anywhere then check out mel's crafty mojo she has tons of mesh so many different styles of mesh signs you know decorations for your wreaths all different kinds of stuff look in the description box and there'll be a link i'll also pin a comment but the good thing with this method is you don't have to have ribbon you don't have to have a lot of decorations all you need is your mesh your frame and a sign a phone cut off but anyway what you do and i know y'all seen me do this before but anyway you roll out your mesh and then we're going to take it and i'm going to say for this one i'm going to work around this this ring right here this line not this one the one next to it so you're going to roll out your mesh and then you're going to lay your wreath frame on top of it you're going to pull one end up see how i'm pulling it up between here pull your other end up around it so you're basically just sandwiching this piece right here in between your mesh then just hold the corners together and pull it up let's flatten this out a little bit it can be a pain in the behind to get started but once you get it started it's okay all right see how it's even like that and now you're going to pull up just a little bit of your mesh see about so and you're going to just scrunch it over to the side and yet yeah, the mesh is, is like my ex-husband it's clingy it's going to cling to itself okay so don't worry about your mesh pulling itself back through so you match the edges up pull it up like this and then scrunch it over and see this is what is going to make your ruffles and now you're just going to keep doing that just pulling up a little bit of mesh and scrunching it over until you get one section full as full as you want it usually i can use one roll of mesh and go all the way around and this is the dollar tree wreath frame this is a 14 inch we are stuck we're stuck okay there we go and <laughs> this is a 14 inch frame just pull it up like so just work it around okay and now we're just going to scrunch it over like so so i'm going to work a little bit and fill up this section all right i think i'm going to do one more in this section just pull it over see i have a pair of scissors over here kind of holding the roll of mesh down because if not it's just going to roll all over the place so you're just going to pull it a little bit more and i think that that looks okay that's about as full as i want this section so now we're at this crossbar here all you're going to do is just skip that crossbar pull your mesh up right on the other side of that and just keep on doing what you're doing this is kind of difficult because i have my arms outstretched i usually hold my wreath down in my lap when i'm working on do y'all do that do y'all like hold your wreath down in your lap <laughs> i feel like i'm the weird one for doing that all right then you're just going to make sure because underneath here you see you don't want like a big like a big blob of mesh so just make sure that you have it kind of pulled decently snug not snug enough that you're going to pull this other mesh all the way through but you know what i'm saying okay and then we're just going to scrunch it over so now i'm just going to repeat that all the way around the wreath just skipping the crossbars pulling it up and we'll come back once i get to the end okay i've made it all the way around now this is the back side of the wreath you're probably saying why what <laughs> and i need to go back um and tuck some of this in because i dropped it in the floor but anyway this is the end right here and what i'm going to do i need to trim off some more of this goodness amber i wasn't paying much attention there was a cat in here a while ago she was like just aggravate me to death 
But anyway, I have a zip tie here and I'm just gonna take this zip tie and I'm gonna go around uh, one of the rings here and then we're just gonna take the tail of this. I'm just gonna tuck it down in here in this zip tie and then we're just gonna tie it, uh, tighten it down, tie it down. Ha! We're just gonna tighten it down like so. And then let's trim this. We'll trim a little bit more of this off. Not a whole lot, because then you don't want it to, to pull that through. Alrighty, so let's flip it over. I squished it. And uh, this is what we have. Now we're going to take our second roll of mesh, and we're going to do the same thing. But this time I believe I'm going to work around this innermost ring. Okay? Let me fix this here. I'm going to work around this innermost ring. And you see how this is like orange, purple? I'm gonna do orange, make sure the orange is on this side. And I'm gonna work myself all the way around the inner ring doing the exact same thing that we've been doing here. All right? So I'm going to work on that and then we'll come back and attach a sign. Okay, so we have all of the mesh on our wreath. I know this is such a terrible angle, but you know what, it'll be all right. Now the sign that I'm using is this pumpkin. How cute is that? And this came from Dollar Tree. Now. I'm gonna be using pipe cleaners to melt this to our wreath frame. All right, now I just hot glued these pipe cleaners on. You know, this is one of the methods that I use, but you know what? This sign is so lightweight, the pipe cleaners are gonna be just fine. The hot glue is gonna be just fine because in my area, you know, about the Halloween time that this is gonna be hanging out, this hot glue is gonna work just fine. But if you look in the description box, and I'll pin a comment, you're going to see where it says, um, like, my favorite wreath making supplies. I can't remember exactly <laughs> what I put on there. But anyway, it's a link to my Amazon shop where you can get zip ties. And you can get zip tie mounts that you can put on your sign and then run the zip ties through. And then you can use that if you don't want to use pipe cleaners. And I have my glue gun listed and all kinds of cool supplies that you can use. But anyway, let's get our big fluffy, fluffy wreath here. And I am just going to put the sign here. I'm going to run the pipe cleaners down through the mesh and we're going to attach it to, I'm just trying to spread this a little bit, we're going to attach it to the wreath frame underneath. So that'll take me a second to do and I'm going to be flip-flopping this back and forth to try to um, get these tightened down. So I'm just going to run it down through here, find a piece of the wreath that doesn't have any mesh on it and wrap it around that. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this fastened down, and I've got my mesh kind of all squished up here, but it's okay. You saw the wreath at the beginning of the video, and um, I'm also going to put a photo of it at the end of the video, okay? So anyway, hang tight, and you can see it again. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!